Over now to Ogun State, where the Anglican parish in Abiokuta wants government to initiate policies that will reposition Nigerian youths to make the country a better place. This is a central focus of a program with the theme Youths as Mission Executors for Harvest. For the church, Nigeria will compete favorably if youths are trained to be change agents. The church believes youths have potentials needed to effect the development of change that Nigeria requires to correct our use. But it noted with sadness the reality that most Nigerian youths have been left idle, resorting to all forms of criminalities. I want to also get the youths to imbibe this spirit that the Lord has deposited a lot in them as for them to go out as mission executors, to show the love of God to all mankind and to develop uh, the nation in a godly way. We are not you know, tapping in for the resources of the youth. The youth are wasting away. The youth are crying. The hydro help is the devil's workshop. On the xenophobic attacks on Nigerians in South Africa, the cleric says a conducive environment for the growth of businesses is required to discourage mass movement of Nigerians abroad. There should be synergy between this government of South Africa and Nigeria and the whole other African nation that are involved to fight this criminality. Young persons and youths got opportunities and platform to showcase their potentials. very easy to put down everything you want to do concerning what we learned and there's nothing to follow through. But when you're accountable to somebody, I think with that you could make much leap than just keeping it to yourself. It is the consensus here that grooming youth to becoming change agents may require more of mentoring and supportive role of Nigerian government and key stakeholders to be able to attain enviable heights and satisfaction. From Abekuta, Inogu State, Olushegun, Olukoga. Estivinus.